morning. Good morning, Theo. You okay? Uh, I'm good, but I think I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, are you getting straight into it? <laughs> <laughs> the intro hasn't even finished no, yet. No, 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 no it's <laughs> minor mistake, minor mistake. You know how we're trying to like get different outfits every day, right? Yeah. Every time we have a podcast. Yeah. And same, I've been, we've been able to wear different shirts, but we've been able to wear different hats as well. Yeah. So I'm bringing this, so I brought this hat, um, which is the Aussie hat, right. which I haven't worn on this podcast yet. Okay. And then I realized, how am I going to get put on my head headphones on <laughs> with that Aussie hat? What do you mean? Because that hat is like... Oh, you know, that like Aussie that hat. Kind of not, hat. Not the hat that the Auss Aussies signed. No, 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 not ah, that one, not okay, that okay, one. No, okay. but it's like the Aussie hat with like, you know, the, what's it called? It's got the shade all yeah, over yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, is so it with little dangling things? Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, yeah. I can't. You, you could possibly wear it and then have the, have it. Like no, on. you can't do it. I think it's going to look weird. <laughs> you can't do it. So I'm like, gosh, that's my, that's my job ruined. So no hat today. It's all right, mate. It's, you don't have to wear a hat. No, come it's on. Not, it's not it's a must. I mean, it's like, come on. In the middle of winter, you see golfers in the UK. Like, again, there's, it's cloudy, it's raining, and people wearing a hat. And it's like, what's that What's that there for? I, I can't play without a hat. It actually it feels weird to play because I've, I've, I can't play without a hat. On that note, welcome back to episode 11 of the Rise of Science Golf Show podcast. My name is Theo. The gentleman to my right or your left, I believe, is Chenji. Finally getting the direction right. I'm trying my best, mate. Um, it, <laughs> is, it is a bit early. It's, it's 11 a.m. Um, we don't normally... Do we normally do it at this time? I think we normally do it at like 9 a.m. Yeah, I but it started at 9 a.m. And then we then was like, okay, let's do it in the evening maybe. And then now we're back at doing it mornings. We've, we've recorded a, like a couple of podcasts at like 11 at night. We did. We did. We recorded um, a few podcasts at like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. Mate, you look tired today. You okay? Do I? A little bit. You look like you, you had a rough night, but I don't think you did. I don't think I did. No, you didn't. No. It's all right. It is what it is. Wow. I've got you some coffee. That thank, you be okay. thank you very much. No, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just a bit nervous, you know. Ooh. Go on. Got Here we go. Here we go. I've got a match. Yes. Tell us. I've got a... Um, well, it's September in the UK, which means it's the end of a golfing season for most club golfers. Um, and usually, um, in starting in about April, May, usually May time, um, clubs will usually host a ver variety of competitions yep. right, uh, through May to September. And, you know, some of those will be in a match play format, um, you know, which is a trophy, which is a trophy um, competition, right? And, uh, you know, you just play in the first round, second round, third round, quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. Yep. And I'm in one of those high handicappers um, match play competitions. And I'm somehow, somehow... So obviously this is like a, a, a tournament of bandits. Like okay, yeah, everybody's yeah. like 19 plus handicap. Plus it's on that handicap level, there's a lot of people that are actually better. Oh, uh, oh, but oh, but they don't put any cards in to no. not lower the, the handicap. Seriously, it's pretty bad. Like I, to be very honest with you, I don't know how I got this far because I've been playing with these old boys, right? Mm. And for those of you out there, you know, who, who, who don't know what old boys are. So these are, you know, the elderly members of a golf club. You know, their driver goes maybe 170 yards, but it goes straight every single every time. Every single, t every iron shot goes straight, every chip, and everything. when they're about maybe 30 yard, 20 yard away from the green, and they go to the bag, and they take out the chipper. Oh, mate. <laughs> you know. Oh, mate, I've never seen that, actually. You know, know you yeah. are <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Let me uh, let me mark that down so I know when to uh, bleep that out. <laughs> uh, Mike's. I don't think my back. Mike. My, Mike's back on. No, your mic is working. It's just he the headphones. Oh, okay. Is it, I think, I think it is. Um, yeah. I was going to say to you. Um, what? Where are you? Like, are you? Is it semi-final? It's a final. It's a final yeah, today. It's a final today. That's me. I, I can I caddy for you. Ooh, yes, you, you told me earlier, I yeah. could have got the day off work and I could have, you're, like... You're cutting you're cutting for, like, a what? You ha you're cutting for, like, a 17, 19 handicap. It doesn't one. matter, Chenji. To me, you are a professional golfer Oi. with your professional gear and your professional free T-shirt. All, all, no, all the gear, no idea, You are baby. sponsored by DP World Tour and Hilton today. <laughs> Shout out to Hilton, even though we have oh, no affiliation with We have Hilton. zero affiliation. They do not know who we are. Well, they definitely don't know who I am. Chenji, they might have some sort of recollection because uh, of the points that you use and you, the points that you uh, gain we'll with them. See. We'll but see. yeah, um, mate, so good luck. Thank you. But what what time are you playing? 
Um, I'm playing in about four hours. Do you know who you're playing against? I do know who I'm playing against. What's Twi- the... Twi- 26 handicapper. Oh my God. So he's so got like two so shots. So this is the thing, right? You can enter the 19 plus competition if at the start of the season your handicap is 19 plus, which you know I was at the time and now my handicap is 17. And the other guy just, well, didn't change his handicap. So, you know, obviously now he gets two more shots over me. That I'd be quite uh, annoyed, you know, because I don't think, well, obviously I don't know who this person is, but I don't imagine they've gone to the final on a 26 handicap. No, I don't think so, no. So they, they, this you know, person on, how is do probably... You, how, do you, how do you start the season with a 26 handicap and at the end of the season, you're still a 26 handicap? No, a lot of people can do that. Like, Of course, but like that's that's obviously intentional, so you want to win some money no, in no, the club. No, it's, no, it's not how. It's definitely it's intentional. I think this person... We're probably like talking bad about this person that he could be a really bad at golf or just gotten lucky four yeah. times or five uh, times. No, because I, you know, the w- I saw his semi final opponent. Oh, played. Iron up the enemy. Are you and I've played And I've played with the, you know, with, with that person before who okay. he won against. Right. And he is the biggest bandit I've ever seen in my life. So, wow. Well, you know, I'm sorry. go to this. So, go to this golf society one day and um, I literally, I. I shot, you know, I had the best golf round in my life. You know, my drives were going 280 yards straight every single time. My never chunked a single shot. Putting was horrendous, like usual, mm. right? And I shot at 84. Okay. Right, on a par really 72, good. right? So I think, you know, with two blobs, I think as well. So I shot 40, 40 points with two blobs, yep. right? So I was, lo- I, I was like on a high and I thought, yeah, I'm going to win this, obviously. And then we go back to the clubhouse. And we have a dinner prepared, and I was sitting on a table with um, this gentleman, and um, <coughs> so we turned out turned out that we were on the same golf. W- we are members of the same golf club, so this is you know we didn't play in our golf club. We played in a golf society game away, uh-huh. and um, yeah, we were just chatting. You know, people. I mean, I said obviously like I you know, had the best run of my life. You know, shot 84, 40 points. Seriously, it was amazing. And the gentleman was just very quiet in the corner there. Just Bandits I mean, normally nobody. are. Yeah, so people ask him how his round went, and he was just like, yeah, it was all right, it was all right. Oh, my God. And uh, so we have dinner, you know, a little appetizer, a little main, and then the dessert, and follow that. Um, yeah, the president of the Golf Society came out and said, oh my God. right, okay, we're going to, you know, uh, we're going to announce the prices. So fir- in first place, blah, 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 with 38 points. Second place, so actually, I couldn't have won anyway because I was a guest in the golf society. So I wasn't okay. a member of that golf society. But anyway, so second place with 41 points. I'm like, wow, cool. Somebody is somebody. And first place, absolute bandit. The gentleman that I was sat with, right? 43 points with a blob. Who shoots 43 points with a blob? Anyway, uh, now he's like a 20, 25, 26 handicapper as well. So this is the, this is the gentleman that my... Opon- opponent in the final today has beat in the semi final, which is who's already the biggest bandit. He's a, he's an old boy. Right? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm just thinking, wow, okay, you know, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a tough match. Listen, and he gets my advice is just go in. Don't worry about what how how he's playing. Worry about your game. Don't try and go for the hero shots. Don't try and if you need to lay up, lay up. Don't don't try and overdo anything. No, but what's the point of laying up if you're in match play? You have to go for it. Yeah, I get that, but. I mean, if you're te- if you're te- if you're telling me that this guy's like a bandit, you I just don't need know. To, I don't to know. I just need to put on my best game. If he's a 26 handicap and he's in the final, he's a bandit. Right, fair enough. I mean, but um, what I'm trying to say is, don't get psyched out. Don't get um, stressed out. Just play your game and you'll be completely fine. Okay. I just really want read my the putts. I properly. want my name on the board. Don't overcompensate for anything. Don't go if you need to get an extra club. Get an, if you if it's a seven iron, just get a six iron, Chenji. Yeah, yeah. Easy six iron. You're, you're good. You need to. I mean, to be fair, I could use. I could use. I could be caddy. the best caddy. The problem is, I I always try and help Stegio, but he never listens to me. <laughs> so it's like, just listen. Sometimes, yes, you've been playing longer than me. Yes, you're you're not better than me, Stegio. You're not better than me. She's I am. Fired. Oh, you're, he's not better than me. Oh, anyway, and uh, it's like just sometimes, man, just listen. Like, I want the best for you. I go to the same with you, Chenji. I really hope you win. Thank you. Thank um, you, sir. I really hope you get on the board. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. You might, next episode, you might come in with a little trophy. Oof. Well, don't, 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 say, don't jinx that. I'm not jinxing nothing, mate. I, I wish you were the best. I, Thank I, you I, very I really much, hope. Sir. Don't tell much. me if, oh, well, there's no way. I'm seeing you tomorrow. I'm seeing you Monday. I'm seeing you Tuesday. Oh, God. So there's no way you're not going to, don't, 
tell me your results until next podcast. No, I won't. Yeah? Yes. Don't mention nothing to stay. Don't mention anything to, to anybody. I want nothing. Yeah? Okay. Okay, I wish you all the best, mate. Thank you very much, sir. I really hope you come in with a little trophy. That could be like the first of many trophies. That <laughs> it, when, when, we get ma- when we have a massive podcast and we have our own studio, that trophy that you're going to win today will be on the mantelpiece behind us, Chenji. Yeah? So bring it home for I'm us. Gonna, I'm going to do the tiger fist bump. You do whatever yes. you want to do as long as you come <laughs> next week with a trophy. <laughs> All I want from you, Chenji, is a trophy. Look at this guy. Is this a, I'm, I this, got, I got, I'm got this, to hit it up. Did this just become the high performance podcast? I really want you to win now, Chenji. Thank you very much, sir. Thank I really you. want you, you to win. Thank I'm going to put it out in the universe. You're winning. Very well, thank you. Just read thank the you. puts. You'll be completely fine. I Absolutely. I need, to, I need to go practice a little bit after this podcast. Don't overthink do it. Thinking. Don't stress no, out. No, no, no. I Don't stress out. It's fine. It's fine. It's just... I mean, also... I mean, Come on. To those of you listening out there, tell us your thoughts about bandits on the golf course you yes know, you are a member of a club right and you're playing this competition and you know you just shot the best round of your life you know shooting 40 points 41 points 42 points yeah right and you're like a you know 15 18 handicapper and you look at the board two days later about the results <laughs> you see this elderly gentleman with the 28 handicap <laughs> shooting 46 points yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I st- <laughs> there's some. Um, let, us, let us know what you think, boys. Let, me, let, the, let us know what you think. There's some. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Adjustments that need to be made in the rules of golf, where if you don't hand in this many cards, then you're not eligible to play in, in the competition. I, I I just came up with that. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's just because I know I know somebody else that um I used to play with, and. The, you know how you have like society games where you go to like different places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went to, I want to say Sheringham. Is that, is that a place? Yeah, yeah, of is course. That, is yeah, that yeah, Sheringham in Seaside, yeah. Right, great, okay. great course, so, so great right. course in Norfolk. So this guy um, used to be a member with Stegio. I love this guy, but never mind. Um, he on purpose, on purpose did not put any cards in just so that he was a high enough handicap where he knows that when he goes to Sheringham on the society day that he knows that he has a good chance of coming top three mm. and it's i don't think that's right and he would go right. like blatantly go out and say oh yeah i'm not putting a card in today oh how come he goes oh yeah we're, we're playing sharing gum in a month so i don't want my handicap to go down that's, that's and, I, and i'm playing really well at the moment that's like, just blatant yes yes or if you want to if you want your handicap to be so bad so that you get more points when you play a society game you have to put a card in at, at one or two weeks before yeah. right and if you do put a card in one or two weeks before and you do want to keep your, your, your handicap high, play a bad round of golf and go through that misery for, f- for five hours on that day mm. just so that you can say, yeah, I've put my card in. I've done what I needed to do. I'm, I'm eligible to play now. Mm. There, there's definitely some um, adjustments that need to be made because, I don't know, it's, it, I mean, you're trying your best to stay at 17 handicap or get better and you're putting all your cards in or whatever. And then a 26, 27 bandit comes along and he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I haven't put a card in in six months. But I'm still a 27 handicapper, even though he's like playing off 15. It's crazy. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. But it is, it's is—it's part of the game. Part, you part know, of the game. All you have to do is not worry about him. Worry yeah. about you. Just worry about your shots. Be the best you. Just be the best that you can be. But if you don't come without, if you come next week without a trophy, this podcast is over. I'm telling you now. <laughs> This podcast, no pressure, <laughs> but this podcast is getting cancelled if you come without a trophy next week. And don't you dare go and buy a, a fake trophy and write your name on it and bring it like, oh yeah, I won. Because you know I'm not going to find out. <laughs> you know I'm not going to. I'm not going to find out. Anyway, this guy. Right. Good luck to. Good well, luck. There's to, one to way him. of motivating your partner. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just threaten him. Just. Threat. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, this podcast getting shut down. <laughs> I'm gonna post some seriously violating content on TikTok so TikTok shuts us down. Yes. TikTok, speaking of TikTok, oh. please follow <laughs> Chenji, please you're getting too good at please this. Follow <laughs> you're getting please follow scary. us on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, follow us on TikTok if you haven't already. Uh, we're, we're doing well on TikTok. Well, yeah, and uh, we just signed up an, an Instagram page. And uh, we did follow us uh, on Instagram, Instagram. Rice and Slice podcast on, on Instagram. We're going to try and do it a little bit different. On TikTok, I just post clips of the of the podcast, which is completely fine. On Instagram, I'm going to be posting a lot more stories, a lot more adventure stuff that we get up to mm. individually and together. 
Um, I'm going to post some the pictures. I'm going to post just just normal, not normal things, but I'm going to use Instagram for what Instagram is used for. I'm going to use TikTok for what TikTok is used for. Absolutely, it's perfect. Perfect. So I mean, uh, to be fair, followers, speak to me. What's what, what what what's the point of TikTok and Instagram? I've got no clue about social media. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I was, I was going to say, well, Chenji, I'm glad you asked that question. I, I have Come the again. answer. Oh, there but we yeah, go. It's, it's obvious. Like, so TikTok is for clips and videos and all that kind just of like, stuff. You know, it's just Instagram. good and funny content, isn't yes, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I just want to use it for clips. Maybe, you know, just just, just clips. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. post pictures on there. Yeah. Uh, maybe some like trendy stuff, some like, um, what's the word, viral stuff that yeah. people are doing. I just want to join in. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. I actually have a video that Ooh. I want to. Um, that I want to do is a Tiger Woods video. My my highest viewed video on my TikTok. Yeah, Tiger, Tiger Woods. Yeah, it's a Tiger Woods one. Do you get like um, hundreds of thousands of views already? Yeah, it's it's on like eleven thousand likes and like I'm not bigging myself up. I'm obviously really? I'm very happy, but it's just it's been it's been posted on like a couple of my like meme golf brilliant, pages brilliant. on Instagram, which I'm yeah, like, oh, brilliant. this is so nice. Thanks, Thanks. guys. <laughs> Great TikTok. Yeah. So uh, Instagram, go follow us. Rise and slice podcast. That'd be wicked. Thank you guys. Also. Speaking of Instagram and speaking of playing together and posting stories, yes. Tomorrow we yes. are playing together. Yes. I can't wait for tomorrow. So you're going to see some st- if you if you know go follow our Instagram page, uh, Rice and Science Podcast, and tomorrow you're going to see some good content well, coming out. You're not going to. S- by the time this podcast is is aired, we we would already have been playing golf and already posted the stories. Oh yeah, of course it is. Oh gosh, but I'm so bad at this. You're getting better. Oh yes, there we go. But Thank it's it's you. it's not a live podcast. Imagine if it was. Oh my god. Ooh. Anyway, so uh, tomorrow Sunday. So this is game posted on the Wednesday. So three days ago, shall we say? Yeah. We are going to Centurion. Club. Is it the Centurion or just Centurion? Centurion Club. So to, so we are going to Centurion Club to play golf. Yeah. Chenji has kindly invited us with his because he's well no because obviously because of big this podcast is oh coming, yeah sorry we sorry were yeah kindly yeah. invited yes. to play in the Centurion Club by Chenji's friend yes <laughs> <laughs> quite begged yeah, yeah, we begged <laughs> please please let us on so we're going to play at, at, at Centurion Club I can't wait I'm really excited Stay just coming with us it's me you Stay you and your friend what's your friend's name are we allowed to say uh, oh. yeah Jin Jin yeah oh easy. So uh, I get to meet Jin for the first time, which is cool. Um, I can't wait. We're having food before the round. What do you call, actually, like, Jin, um, he is a great golfer. Like, okay. Plays single-digit handicap. Mm-hmm. Um, and just plays really well. Yep. Do you? You wouldn't call people like this bandits, would you? No. Okay. Single digits. I mean, how, how, what they're going to do, you just birdie everything. Like, yeah, okay, you're good at golf, you get it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you, he he's not a he, bandit. He gets he gets birdies and eagles, dude. That, well, then he's not a bandit. I mean, he's a single digits handicapper. No, but like, come on. the reason like He's got it in him. Like, a bandit is like a 25 handicapper yes. who plays off 15. A but bandit what, But is what about a bandit who plays, you know, who has a seven handicap and is actually almost scratch? No, that's not bandit. No? No. Okay. Sorry, mate. Okay, cool. No, no. I, he's good. Y- he is good. If you're a scratch handi- han- uh, handicapper, then you're, and you have a bad day, and you give a you give the course seven shots, for example. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Okay. Right. Okay, that's fine. I think a bandit it should be from like a twenty handicap and over, mm-hmm. and you're s- getting anything over four. T- if you're getting anything, if you're a twenty handicapper and you're getting anything f- uh, anything over forty p- uh, points on Stableford, mm-hmm. then you're a bandit. True. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I think that's like a, a good, good definition. Yes. Yes. Well. To to our listeners, let us know what you think. What a, what the definition of a What's bandit? The, what is the, the the definition of a bandit? <laughs> so yeah, um, oh, we're playing Centurion Club tomorrow. Uh, we were supposed to play a different day, but that that didn't go through. Uh, anyway, I have a story. Go on. So, speaking of playing golf, it r- at really nice golf courses. Mm-hmm. I played at Sherwood Forest on Tuesday. Oh, it's a fantastic course. <sighs> it's uh. Sherwood Forest is in Nottinghamshire, um, and Nottinghamshire is actually known for quite um, some good for for its good heath like inland heathland golf courses, and including Hollingwell, right, which is the final qualifying venue for the Open um, most years, I think, and is overall one of the top courses in the UK, right, and uh, very close to Hollingwell. Is the course Sherwood Forest? Right. And it has a very sim. It has a very similar environment, similar sort of flora and fauna, and I've only heard great stories about that course. Well, you best get ready, mate. Oh gosh. Are you sitting down? It's fine then. 
I've never played, by the way. So I have a list of, of courses that I want to play. Not not in the world, but like in my local v- vicinity, yeah? Um, Sherwood Forest was on top of my list for, really? for probably the last two years. Wow. So just after lockdown, I've made the list. I was doing my research. And um, yeah, so Sherwood Forest was on top of my list. I've been meaning to go last year, the year before, and it, it never happened. It's always fully booked. It's always this. Also, just like you, I've heard the best things. Until um, Tuesday, when I finally got a, a, a tea time booked. And the worst thing is, I went with Stegio. Stegio didn't want to go to that place. He wanted to go somewhere else. He wanted to go to Ullersorp. And I said, dude, we always go wherever you want to go. Just for once, just listen to me. I promise you, it's a really good course. I've heard the best things about this course. I finally got a tea time. Let's just go there. He's like, oh, okay, fine. Let's go. So obviously, I need to make him happy before making me happy. Because he didn't really want to go. Yeah. So I turn up at t- two hours earlier, as I normally do whenever we play golf at a nice um, golf course. I like to take m- m- get my money's worth, take it all in, go to the driving range, go to the putting green, see the pro shop, see the clubhouse. I want to see everything to get um, to get a good, not, not good rating, but sh- just to see why this is so expensive or see why this is so highly rated. Or see, if you would play a JCB ever, which I hope we do at some point in our lives, you're not going to turn up five minutes before the tea time, are you? No. I, I hope you wouldn't anyway. Uh, maybe. No, no you want to turn up. I won't, I won't. You want to take everything in, man. Like, it's a, it's a, you're never playing that course again, for example. Take it all in. Uh, no? Come on, we're going to play. That's what I said about Centurion Club. And here we are, going there for the second time tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm getting there early, big man. I'm getting there really. Like I said, oh, to, we I are said, we are going to have lunch there. We yes, are going to but we're, we're playing at half one. And I said to stay, yo, I'm coming around your, I'll be there at eight in the morning. <laughs> And he, he thought I was joking until I knock on his door tomorrow morning at eight. And I'm like, let's go. We've got a two hour drive. We're so eating lunch. I want to have a little bit of a chip. I want to have a put. I want to have a put. I want to be chilled. Okay. Okay. That's me. You don't have to come in at eight. You don't have no, to leave at eight. Okay. Go on. Go on. Right. Speaking anyway, of which, yes. Sherwood Forest. So I turn up. How can I explain this? So Chenji, I'm going to explain to Chenji the best way I know how. And then I will explain why. Cosby was a better club than Sherwood Forest. No way. No way. <laughs> for the listeners out there, we had an episode, I think it was our second or third episode, we talked about this cause we drove for an hour or two and then it was like, pay £30, which is not cheap, but it's not, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap either. And it was just so bad. <laughs> we did not have a good time at Cosby, basically, right? And Cosby is like a li- the inside joke of, oh, well, you know, uh, you know, at least it's not Cosby. Or at least it's, you know, that's what we're always saying. Yeah, yeah, the greens are not good, but, you know, at least they're better than Cosby. <laughs> at least they're better. Right? So, we're, we're, so yeah. So, um, went to Cosby. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I went to Sherwood Forest. They had a little, where do I begin? Um, going into the parking space. I, no, I don't want to slag off the place completely because I played it there once. The experience, my personal experience that I had on this one particular day just wasn't great. First of all, I called the place uh, and to book a round in. I said, I want to book a round in. Uh, this sounds horrible. The guy on the phone was a bit rude. Okay. He wasn't, normally you go to golf courses, everybody's like nice and friendly, they're helpful. He goes, you know, he just wasn't helping. So I was like, okay, cool. Uh, it is what it is, I don't care. Maybe just a bit pretentious because it's, it's an expensive club. It's, it's a you know prestigious club. Okay, fine. And then I turn up, I go into the pro shop, I check in. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go. Have you got a driving range? He goes, yeah, it's down there. You need uh, coins. Cool. Driving range was by far the best thing on the golf course. It was like a brand new driving range, like a barn looking driving range. They had mats. They had nice balls. Perfect. They had targets. and the Perfect driving range. Exactly what you need in a driving range. With practice balls. Normal practice balls. Yeah, the yellow range balls. Ah, okay. It's fine. No pro you want. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, they're good enough. I think they were like Strixon. JCB and has probably one. They do. Practice, man. They do. And I, I think you can pick, range. actually. I think they can pick. Mm. Callaway, Frickson. Oh, of course. On. One day. One day I'll take you there when I get invited. Anyway, so uh, I go on the driving range. I hit a few balls. I'm trying to work on some stuff and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, cool. No problem. I go on the putting green. The putting green, there was four holes on the putting green. There was literally like a queue of people waiting to go on the putting green. There was four holes on the putting green. It was nice green and all that stuff. There was like mud everywhere, which doesn't sound normal, right? 
You know, like the, with so many chips and there's like divots everywhere. Yeah, but there was like divots everywhere on the on the putting green, and like there's four little holes. They're quite close to each other. There's, there's, there's a small putting green. The putting surface is just straight, so there's no like undulation. There's no like curvature. There's nothing. And I'm like, okay, this is a bit weird. And then uh, the course itself is nice. I would like to play it again on the f- on in the summer when there's like you know fast greens and all that kind of stuff. That so when I called up and I said, "How are the greens?" and the guy on the phone to me said, "Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Um, you know, the fast, the this, the that." He was big, and I was like, "Oh, wicked! Okay, book is in." We turn up, we play the first shot, we go on the green. You've never seen greens as bad as this. Oh no, Branston level greens. Oh no, they were patchy. They had irrigation. There was like lines going all the way down and up that were really deep. You were put in, and the 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 the, the ball would like change lanes. It was that bad. Yeah. No matter what you did, no matter how you looked at it, I have a video. I want to show you a video somewhere um, of how bad they actually were. I don't mind if you're doing irrigation. Like, let's get that straight. But you have to tell people that you. If doing I'm calling it. in advance, and I'm asking, have you done? Are you are you doing? Because I know it's that season. Mm. At least let me know so I know what to expect. Did you ask them when you I, called? I, them? I specifically asked. You know how are the greens? Have you have you done any irrigation? No, they're perfectly fine. They're fast. And then I turn up, and I'm. Do you know how much I paid for the round? Hundred pounds. One hundred pounds to play golf, right? And not only did did I ask, have you done irrigation? And he said no. The greens are perfectly fine, but I turn up and they're that bad. Not only they were patchy. There was like on the on the on the green there was bits where there had it was no grass. It was just dead grass everywhere. And I'm like. I asked. The least you could do is, which the, 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 I'm Can sure they did it with us. Honest. First of all, you, you tell me what to expect. Second of all, if you tell me, yes, where did we play? Where we, we, I asked them, I said, oh, um, ha, we, you know, we're doing irrigation, but I'm going to charge you less. Um, that w- at my club. Kenost- of course. <laughs> That's right. Last time we played. Yeah. And the greens were perfectly fine. Yeah, perfectly fine. We actually. turned up and I was like, okay, yeah. So uh, normally, what what is it like? Forty five pounds. Normally, like a member's guess is thirty pounds. So thirty pounds, and the guy was like, "Yeah, the greens are pretty bad today. I'm only going to charge you twenty pounds." We get on the greens, and they're perfectly fine. They're perfectly quick. They're, they're like, a little bit slower than normal. <laughs> like, but they're but great. The like, guy was like, "Yeah, I'm, yeah, like listen, the greens are not what they normally are. I'm not going to charge you thirty. I'm going to charge you twenty pounds." And How and easy is that? And here's the thing as well. So you know, uh, I think around that time, uh, my friend Jin was coming over as well. Yes. And uh, we, we were choosing between a couple of nice courses to play, and one of them included uh, was Hollingwell. Yes. Right. And Hollingwell's green fees are usually like 150, 160 pounds in the summer. Right. And uh, so I gave him a call and asked him, right, okay, can we book a tea time? And then the gentleman on the phone said, very polite, by the way, very kind, you know, as again, somebody should when they're taking a call. Um, and they said, yes, uh, but, you know, just to make you aware that we are irrigating, we are, we may be punching the greens um, during the time that you're looking for. Yeah. So in case, you know, this happens, uh, we will reduce your green fee. There you go. In case this happened, we didn't play in the end um, yeah. because you know we chose to play Woodhall Spa instead. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, easiest you thing to do. Easiest thing to do. You just ask them, and again, you you fu- you fully expect that the greens are not going to be great, and then you usually go, and then you go there. It's probably going to be fine, right? Yeah. Um, and then you have a great time. You think you think you got a great deal and you had a great round. Yeah. But this is a show before us what you had to go through. It was so bad. That's not right. No, it was terrible. Okay. Show I've us, got, I've got show the, video. Us the video. Right, I'm going to show you the video. Uh, I'm going to. I want everybody to. I'm going to post it today. So by the time you see this, it's going to be. On, it's going to be on my podcast and my TikTok mm. at Theodorus Kalopidis. I'll put a little thing here. Go there and watch the video. And to be fair, the good thing about this is that it, it gave me an idea for like a TikTok series, which I'm which I'm going to do. One minute golf course reviews. Nice. So every. Oh, that's really good. That's really cool. It's not bad, is oh, it? Brilliant. So that's funny. thanks, man. <laughs> so I've done it. Uh, you won't see the whole thing because uh, it's. It's, I've got problems with, with the program, but you can see like I'm gonna show you some bits, right? Uh, go on my TikTok and see the video, and just let me know if I'm being I'm being over dramatic and un- over the top, right? But come on, hundred pounds is not cheap for a UK. Hundred pounds to go to play golf. That's the most I've ever spent on golf. Oh, you're about to spend more than Centurion. Yeah, I am. <laughs> but I know I know that that course, like Centurion, is gonna be un- unbelievable. Yeah. And that's why I'm gonna uh, and I'm getting my money's worth, right? So unless they punch the greens. Unless the punch of greens, which I, again, if they don't tell me, if they don't, if if the punch of greens and, and we don't know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be happy. Stayers are gonna be pissed because that where two, he catches up is, is, yeah. So um, right, 
I'm not going to play any sound. I'm just going to show you how bad the greens are. And I want your reaction. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is that oh is that normal? Goodness. Is That's that normal? That's the yo. And uh, we were being held up by four by four boys, old boys. But yeah, obviously, they let us through. But look, look, look how deep. Oh. Look how bad it is. Hundred pounds, and I and I, no. I I asked you. I asked you, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, they're perfectly fine." Am I being over the top? No, my goodness. You, you need to you need to call them and you need to call, you, you need to email the general manager and complain about this. Do you, I'm not that person though. No, no, seriously, but I'm, gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm not that person though. But here I am on my uh, podcast, slagging off. Uh, show no, but Paris. seriously, this is not right. It's it's bad, it, right? It, like yes, you know. But to our listeners, you're, you're going to see this on the Euros um, TikTok. Yeah, go go, go watch, watch it. It's it's probably as bad as you think it's going to be. It's pretty bad for one hundred pounds to go and 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 have that. It's it that that is the most piss take you can take out of a seriously, customer. Seriously, and on, on a Tuesday where nobody's playing as well. It was actually quite busy, to be fair. Really, they had like a society okay. like Ladies' Day or whatever it was. Oh my but goodness! But that's horrible for society so, day as well. What kind so of impression are you trying to make exactly. on the society? Right. So I have come up with a a, a scoring system. Perfect. This this how angry I was while playing golf. I was like, so this can't go on. You created a new idea for our podcast because yes. of how so angry you are. So the best thing that came out of this is the fact that I came up with a new idea to have a to have a new series on my TikTok. It's not bad, right? So this little thing. That I've done, I'm gonna send you. It's not. It's not difficult. It's not nothing. Wow. Uh, I want you to do this every time you go and play a golf course, a new golf course. Nice, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've I've marked just, up just in time for the winter with all the cheap. I know. Green fees I know, man. In. Don't don't <laughs> remind me. Right. So yeah, obviously you take that into consideration. Yeah. So I've made a list of things to uh, to mark from zero to ten. Right. I may have forgotten something from here, and which you're gonna tell me to add. Yeah. So pro shop. I've given it a 4.5 out of 10. Just a normal standard pro shop. Yeah, no problem. Clubhouse, 3.3 out of 10. Um, I walked in and everybody was staring at me. And I, all I wanted just was just to go to the toilet. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, it was really bad. But I will tell you quick, I did speak to some members there and they were lovely. Of course, yeah. They were really nice because they saw me. I was by myself and I was waiting for stadium. And I've, I've, I've done all my stuff. I've done my puts. I've done my... And at this point, I'm just like, I'm like, oh my God. I'm, I'm dreading stadium coming. I think I text you. And I was like, I'm dreading him oh, yeah, coming. He, 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 he texted me like, you know, Stegio's going to be angry. So I was like, Stegio's not going to be happy, man. Because what he he doesn't drive it far. far. He doesn't. His irons are not great, but he's really good at putting. Yeah. And if you take that away from him, he's done. Game over. Right? Oh, gosh. So I was like, oh, my God. Like, I feel bad for, for him because I've dragged him an hour and a bit from his house to here to pay 100 pounds. Yeah, yes, not true. Yes, to come here and, and to have that experience. So anyway, I was speaking to, to one of the members and I was like, oh, have you got any tips for us? The course itself, the layout is really nice. Mm -hmm. The layout is good. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, the absolutely. the fairways, the, again, they were just not great, but the, the layout of the golf course is quite nice. The bunkers, anyway, we'll get into that later on. So I was speaking to the, to the guy and he goes, oh, I've, yeah. I was like, have you got any tips? Do you know what he said to me? Keep it straight. Keep it straight and you should be fine. Every single time, right? Keep it straight and you should be fine. Keep it straight and you should be fine. Classic, innit? <laughs> or like, Thank you, Clive, or it's for your top tip of the day. Hey, you could have said, just keep it on the fairway. Keep it straight. I was like, oh, is that it? And then he was like, <laughs> I've got to go now. I was like, oh, yeah, thank you for the tip, man. I really appreciate it. Five out of ten. <laughs> that's, not, that's less than five out of ten. Anyway, clubhouse, 3.3 .3 out of ten. Putting green, 3.9 out of ten. Driving range, the highest score is 6.5 out of 10. Oh, wait, I thought you said it was a good driving, driving range. Yeah, it's not top tracer. No, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> driving range, 6.5 out of 10. Course conditions, 4.3 out of 10. Greens, 3.1 out of 10. The only reason it's a 3.1 is because there was two greens that were perfectly fine. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> 17th and 18th. And Stegio said they're doing this to keep us sweet. Because it's the last two greens of the, of the thing. But I've heard also that the 18th hole is the most underwhelming 18th in many courses. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember the 18th hole. <laughs> I well, was so that angry. Kind of, that I was seeing red at this point. Oh, my goodness. I was going to go and complain at the pro shop, but the pro shop was closed by the time we finished. Oh, no. I was like, I'm ju I just want to leave. Anyway, greens, 3.1 out, uh, out of 10. Fairways, 6.2 out of 10. You couldn't really complain too much about yeah, the fairways. Yeah. They, were okay. they were average fairways, no problem. Bunkers, 4.9 out of 10. Some bunkers didn't have any sand in. Some bunkers were wet, which obviously is nothing wrong. Is nothing. Is not. No, no, it's nobody's fault. Yeah. So four point out of ten. Value for money two point six out of ten. 
Now, there's nine things there, right? If I've done my average correctly, which yeah. you can help me, I've added all the points up yeah. and then I divided it by nine. Yeah. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, so my average score for Sherwood Forest, Nottinghamshire, it is 4.4 out of 10. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you're right. I should write a, an, an, a strong worded letter. Yeah. Or email. At the very least, they should offer you to come back, you know. Um, for it was... Um, for like, you know, again. I, was, I was gutted, man. Honestly, I was, I was gutted. See, this I was gutted more because I, I let down my playing partner. So mm. if you came with me or if anybody came with me and I was like, I'm bigging it up, I'm bigging it up. I'm like, come, come. I promise you, it's worth the money. It's worth the money. And then you come and it's that. It'd be horrible. Mate. I'll tell you what, Theo, like, you know, something I haven't told you before. Um, uh, so... One of the people, one of the members I play with in my club. Okay. Right. Uh, He's the owner of Sherwood Forest. Nah. <laughs> CEO. <laughs> <laughs> no, we always talk about like, you know, what's your favorite cause? What's your favorite cause? Mm -hmm. Locally, regionally, yes. internationally, right? And um, you know, he's a good player, plays off two handicap. He says Sherwood Forest. It's his favorite cause. So. Let me he, Google. He, there, he, there's not he, two Sherwood Forest, so he, is there? No, no, no. There's only one. He hyped it up so much. I mean, he, he's the one who said, like, you know, everything's fantastic apart from the 18th hole, right? Okay. Um, so he hyped it up so much that I emailed the general manager of Sherwood Forest okay. asking for a membership. And? How much and is it? I'm not going to lie. It, so it took them a day to respond that what kind of, you know, what kind of membership are you looking for? And then I obviously elaborated, like, you know, yes, I'm, you know, I'm based in here. May, I might want to have two memberships, whole right. two memberships, right? A month later, <laughs> he replies back. I'm like, whoa. whoa I'm just okay. like, what? What? Like, it takes you a month, a month to get back to me. Yeah. And to be fair, I mean, I did, uh, you know, I did, I did uh, receive the email with like the membership. Like the, the annual dues are not that expensive. They're like, they're very similar to what I'm paying right okay. now. Okay. Um, but the joining fees are, you know, slightly higher. Really? Like a couple of thousand pounds. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Let me look at the 18th just to kind of, um, previous hole. Does it work? It will work. Hole 18, par 4. Oh, yeah. I remember this. It's it's okay. It's it's average. The par 3s are nice. Look, the course itself it, it, it is a great course. On perfect conditions, perfect bunkers, perfect greens, perfect fairways, perfect everything. The, f the, the first, uh, the, the tee box on the first, mate, it was mangled. 100 pounds. Anyway, I deviate. Right, you need to email them. Wait. On perfect conditions, this is what I will say. My final thought on Sherwood Forest. On perfect conditions, the maximum this place is worth is £40 a round. In perfect conditions? In perfect conditions. Wow. 45 Wow. Forest of Arden, uh, the Arden course, it's 10 times better than this course. Warwickshire, any of the two at Warwickshire is better than this course. Do you know Warwickshire? Mm -hmm. I want to take you. You've never been, have you? We might, we might play there on Monday, aren't we? Well, you, you tell me. Yeah. So, deja vu, by the way. Sorry. So, uh, Warwickshire, they have two courses. Incredible facilities. Mm -hmm. In like I, can't, I don't want to pick it up too much. I don't want to overwhelm you, yeah? Two great courses. Whichever course you play, you're, you're good. One has water, one doesn't have water. So what do you fancy playing today, Chenji? Do you fancy playing over water? Do you fancy not playing on water? Do I fancy the beach today? Or exactly. Do I fancy the forest, yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it's 30 pounds. And every time we play with Stadio, I'm with, my, with Leo. Yeah. He's like, I can't believe this place is 30 pounds. I can't believe this place is 30 pounds. It's, it's amazing. The food is good. The, the pro shop is good. Everything is perfect. About it. It's like that, that place is 30 pounds. And then I went to Sherwood Forest and I paid 100 pounds. Well, we Doesn't make sense. Look forward to your review, mini review, one minute golf review on that one. I'm doing a one minute golf uh, Go golf course review on Centurion tomorrow. Yeah, perfect. I'm, I'm really it. looking forward to it. Very right, good. so that's my rant over with. Well, uh, well, with well, I'm, so well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it is what it is, mate. It's not your fault. Um, no, I, I should, I should you email need them. To, you need to email them. That's not. That's that's just not good. You know, again, Hollingwell, right around, you know, ne right around the corner, better club. You know, have been very honest about punching the greens. So if you're punching the greens, like I said, I don't mind. That's part of the job. It's part of the, of the course. You have to do that. No problem at all. I encourage that. Because then that means that in, in future, the greens are going to be even better, even faster. No problem. That, that's a sacrifice golfers are willing to, to make to play on punch greens. No problem. Mm. But if I'm, if I'm calling in advance and I'm asking and you're telling me no, they're perfectly fine. 
that's just then like, that's just lying. That's just, then, that's just being dishonest. And I'm turning up, and you're not telling me what to expect, and you're still charging me full price. And I go and see that. Speaking of greens, you applied for a job, didn't you? No. So you volunteered at the JCB. So Greenkeeper, I got didn't you? offered a job and I turned it down. That's all I'm going to say on that. Oh no. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to give any any more details. Okay. Okay. I got offered a job and I turned it down. That's okay. all I'm going to say. Oh my gosh. No details. No details. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, have you got anything to talk about before? Because I have something that I've had for a couple of weeks. Go on. So I. So the golf season has finished. Well, it actually has started. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like FedEx the, Cup. The FedEx Cup. When that finishes, is yes, it's, that's right. It's, it's off. I, it's off season. I, I tell you what, though. Usually, off season, like in football, lasts like two months, right? Three right. months. Yeah. Like in American football, lasts for like from September, yeah, from like exactly. February to September, like yeah. seven months. Yeah. Um, any other sport, it's like at least a couple of months. Yeah. Golf, it's like two weeks. Yeah. But you don't have to play. Of course, of course, but, but if you want to, you obviously no, you're but more but than no. But like you know, the big names are not going to play every single one, no. right? Because no, they get that's you know, why. Yeah. yeah, but you know, the guys who are not that famous just got the PGA Tour card. They want to be playing in every single game to get those points and to make cuts, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. That's a long season, isn't yeah, it? it? No, it really is. I mean, it's it's very. Uh, you get you know, two weeks off. It's it's not easy. It's not easy work, man. Obviously, it's a dream job for a lot of people, but no, but it's it's, it's hard. It's work seriously hard up. work. These guys. It's very, it's, it, it literally just feels like yesterday when um, when Rory McIlroy won the Tour Championship yeah. in East Lake. Yeah, yeah. And Mad. all of a sudden, this weekend, you know, yeah. you're playing the. I think he's getting start ready of the season. I think he's getting ready for the Ryder Cup. Of course he is. Yeah, he's. That's why he's there. He's playing in Italy right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At the, at the Marco Simone yeah. Club. Yeah. Which is where they're going to host the. Um, which we might go to. Which, well, I don't know. The, the ballots have opened last week, this past week. La I, I haven't told you this. Uh oh. No, I haven't bought tickets. Okay. Last episode that we did, literally a week ago, yeah. uh, while we were recording the podcast, I, yeah. was, I was in the queue for tickets. You're joking. While I was, uh, while I was, while we were recording the podcast. No way. So every once in a while, I don't know if you saw me, I would go I didn't like. I didn't see you then. No. But I scrolled down so you couldn't see right a couple of things. No. But th there was like a little bar that was going across. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm in the ballot. For you are in the ballad. I okay, am. great. So I'm wait, I'm wait. Well, Amazing. you say that, but we'll see if we get tickets. Well, Can you imagine going to that? Oh, by the way, I'm on the ballot for the Sunday tickets. I could have bought Thursday tickets, but obviously we don't want to go because it's a practice day. Well, I don't mind going on the Thursday, but if you ride a cup. No, ride a cup, you have to go on Sunday. You have to go on the Sunday. You have to go on Sunday. Anyway. Unless, unless one of the teams gets battered in the first... Then it's just going to be fun. Then we can just have a drink. Absolutely. Enjoy the weather. That's enjoy it. Italy, pizza and pasta, and then we'll have a good Speaking time. Speaking of which, why are Ryder Cup tickets so expensive? Because people like people want to go to that. <laughs> Fair enough. People want to go. Mate, the hospitality, the cheapest is like, for the Sundays, like £1,500. That's more expensive than the uh, Open, I think. Yes, definitely more, more expensive yeah. than the Open. Because I think it's because it happens once every two years and Maybe. it's such a big event. No, but like, it's no, it's example, like an the, extra major. No, it's like the Open that we went to, right? The ballot prices, like the face value uh, for a Sunday was £95 maybe. No, no, yeah. Face, face sorry, value, sorry, face sorry. Value. No. The normal tickets, I think they're like 150 euros, which is up roughly like 110, yeah, 120 yeah. pounds. Is that the for Sunday? The Sunday. One? Okay. So okay. they're not bad. I'm, right, okay. I'm talking about the hospitality is stupidly expensive. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But normal tickets are reasonably priced. They're not uh, stupid. In this case, really, I, I think you know the best value, the best value hospitality you can get is probably at the BMW yeah. PGA. Yeah, if you get those tickets, because there's not that many. No, but every to be fair, every year, right? Those hospitalities sell out because of how good value yeah. they are. Yeah, fair enough. And so next I think year, this I is like free advertisement for BMW PGA to uh, PGA uh, championship. We'll give out f as long as you give us something, you can have everything. No, but seriously, this is just a good review. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. I would love to go. So, I have made Theo's top five golf shots of, tw of the 2022 season. Oh, nice. Right? I'm just going to go through them. You know every single shot. Yeah. Number five. Uh, oh, my God. This is, this is so bad. Okay. I think this is right. Number five. Again, this is my review. My point of view. I mean, I'm not going to see what you're saying, but let's just... You, you tell me and let, just, like, let me guess what they are and see if I remember it. And if I do... That if if you don't have videos, <laughs> that's no, no, how professional no, I am. Like, I mean, no, I know, but if you t if you tell me those five shots and I know what shots they are, oh yes, that's gonna make me like such a nerd. 
No, that's oh. that's mate. That's la- that's what we do. We watch that's golf. Amazing. We watch play golf. I hope I hope Plus, I know all every them. single shot in in Tell this. Me. Every single shot. There's no way you don't know. Okay, fair enough. Go right. On. So number five, Cam Smith's put at, no, on the for the hundred fiftieth. That was just an incredible, incredible part. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Of course, on the 17th in the road hole. The, you know, yeah, he hit a, he around, hit a, the, around the bunker. He hit a drive oh. to the left side, yep. right? And then his second approach shot didn't make it onto the green. It was just short. It was at the worst, worst position. He, he had a bunker right in front of him, um, basically on the left side. And um, he, the pin position was quite close to the edge of the green, which meant if he chipped it, he had to flop shot it. Yeah. Right, if he flopped it but didn't flop it well enough, mm-hmm. obviously that would just that's just gone, right? He's exposing himself to a double bogey. Um and what he decided was to put to put it, right? He wasn't gonna get anywhere close to the hole by putting it, but he put it, right? And after putting it, uh, which was a fantastic putt from where he was, yes. um, he left himself a ten foot putt for par. And he made that ten foot putt for par. And that must have felt like a birdie. Oh, hundred percent. Because he was leading at the time, and what that meant for for to do to pull off a shot like that on that on the day on that's what just on, a, on a major that's just bo- that's a ballsy thing. You Last could, major of the you year, you're leading yeah. you're leading the Open in St Andrews, 150th edition. Mm-hmm. People around the world watching you, and um, just incredible putt. Number four, Rory's bunker shot for the hundred at the 150th. I mean that should be that should be higher than that. I mean that just fired up his whole season. I think it, that was such an incredible shot. I remember standing up on the on, on the from the couch and just screaming at the TV like I mean, holding my head like everybody. oh my god, did he needed that putt to go in? I mean come on, R- Rory's been playing decent the last couple of years, yeah. right? but he wasn't playing amazing. Yes, right? yeah. And in the Masters he was doing quite well, but I think Saturday he didn't do really well. Sorry, sun- uh, Saturday he did really well, but Sunday he didn't really do any well until that last bunker yep. shot and that just made him fired up yes like, you know i think you know that shot was watched around the world yep it was replayed and replayed around the world on social media made its rounds you know for many many months mm-hmm. and i think he just got really motivated because he made that i agree made up. He incredible made that incredible bunker shot. shot right and um yeah and now you know again he's won the tour championship he's there you got the million pound incredible uh, dollars <laughs> number three where was alatoris's put on the 18th at saint jude's oh, yes. to go into playoff and to win his first major. Oh, sorry, no. to win his first win. First win ever. Yeah. yeah. I how, mean, how incredible. That is incredible. What that meant for Will, because we were watching it, we spoke about this yeah. um, on the pod- I mean, a couple of podcasts ago. I'm not going to lie, that was an abysmal playoff hole for both of them. Yeah. Sp- no, no, no. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't playoffs. It, w- it was on the 18th to, to no, go no, into playoffs, w- right? No, no, no. It was like the third playoff hole. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Mate, I have no life. I watch golf every day. Okay. All right. Go on. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a s- either the second or the third playoff hole, and it was a it was the um, uh, it was like a water hole as well, right? So he he hit it. He obviously hit that shot onto the green. Um, actually, like you know, barely made it to the green, um, and it bubbled off. Wait, are you talking about the putt that? Forced the playoff. Are yes. you talking about the putt that he won? The no, the f- the putt that forced the playoff. Ah, I see so what you he mean. Had I see to what make you mean. I see what you mean now. So he had to make this shot to go into the playoffs. Uh, to be fair, no, because he had to make that shot to give him to put himself in a good position. So if Sepp Strucker made a birdie, he would have won it. Right. But then if he made par, that would have forced the playoff. Okay. So he left himself, you know, um, he left himself uh, opportunity to participate in the playoffs. So you don't agree that that's number three? I, I'm not sure. I think because I'm not sure. Will's, bo- uh, Will's put uh, putting game is not great. He it, it has let him down yeah. in, the f- in in the past. Yeah, and for him to actually pull it off, to go into the playoffs and then uh, thankfully win, which we're both very happy with. I that's why I think I think for what it actually meant, it wasn't a difficult put. Mm-hmm. For their standard, mm-hmm. of what it meant. It was to be fair, and, it for, and for w- and you could see in his no, face. To be fair, I take it back. It was a very difficult putt because it was downhill, it was wobbling around, and it went into the hole. And I think he was so happy. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's that's good. You agree that's with good. that one? I okay, cool. I agree. I agree. Number two, it's a bit of a weird one. Mm-hmm. Is uh, Rory's and Collins back to back bunker shots at the Masters? I th- it was a while ago. Do you, can you remember that? Wow, I can't remember that. Really? No. They were in the same bunker. They were playing together. I'm not sure if he was um, the Sunday or, or the Saturday. 
and it was it was the same it was in the same oh yeah of course I remember yeah yeah back to, <laughs> back to back yeah back to back you know bunker bunker um, so Rory Rory yes, uh, yes I remember I remember now goes first yep. chips it in chips and then was like oh my god Every, what a great amazing part. and then Rory's Colin. reaction goes he goes mad yeah 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 and yeah, the yeah, crowd yeah, goes yeah, yeah. crazy yeah and then uh, even Colin's like oh yeah good shot good shot great and, and then, then Colin gets in the same bunker he's like waiting to play second yeah, yeah. and then he gets, gets in the in same bunker. And he chips it in and then they hug it out. It's just a great moment for golf. Fantastic. I think that is such a... I'm, I'm actually watching it now. And look at that. It's two different... Same bunk cat, two, two different shots. Brilliant. Straight in. Look at look at Rory just happy. That, so that, happy. I've got goosebumps. That's just... Brilliant. Wholesome golf. Love Fantastic. that. So Love that's it. my number two. Perfect. Yeah? Number one. What do you think... Them, have you seen my list? I haven't. Are you are you lying to me? I'm seriously not lying okay. to you. Okay, if it was, can you it, like, like on give top of your head? Give me a tip. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want to wait. I'm, on top of your head. Start of the season or end of the season towards? Uh, I want to say start of the season. If you're thinking of what the four, like the best golf shot of the year, can, is there one that pops out? Uh, Scotty Scheffler's four putt to win the Masters. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, it's, it's it's a hole in one. Oh, at the waste management. Yes. Sam Ryder's hole in one. Oh no, is it Phoenix Open? Is that the waste management? Phoenix Open, yeah. Phoenix right. Open, where the crowd goes Nuts. mental. Nuts. That's my number one. Yeah. It was what it meant. Obviously, Sam Ryder is a great, great player. Nobody has made the crowd was so crazy. The, nobody's made for six years, I think. Yeah. Nobody's the crowd was meant was just so drunk, so crazy. They were having the time of their lives. They were like every shot, they were just shouting and screaming and just having a great time. And the crowd was just begging for a hole in one. Seriously. Sam Ryder he rolls off. off. He oh. hits it. And that's the thing as well. And Carlos Ortiz does it ag and did it again. Yeah. yeah, but the first one. No, it's the first one. It's the first uh, one. Absolutely, absolutely. And then what the carnage that happened after he got the hole in one. Oh, my goodness. They had to stop play for like 15, 20 minutes just to clean, to clean up all the beer, just beer cans. Just, just to clean the, the, the bunkers and the and the greens full of, because it was just like beer uh, cups everywhere. You know, you know, when I was at the hospitality in BMW PGA, right? You know, because you're overlooking the 18th green, which is a lovely green to yeah. know, overlook. And I was just telling my friend Dan, you know, can you imagine if this was like the, the Phoenix Open, the waste management, like yeah. somebody made it, a hole in I, I don't like, think... Yeah, I don't when, John think made that e when John Ram made that yeah, eagle, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, people would have been like, yeah. But everybody I here think is like very the, the, muted. At, very at muted. the waste management, the, what do you call it? The crowd that, that's attracted to that um, uh, golf tournament yeah. is a different crowd. Very different crowd. BMW a lot of the university students. Yes. That's what, when I think of like the, the waste management Phoenix Open... Is I think of like I think this is what Liv wants. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's probably what inspired potentially yes, Liv yeah. to. Yeah. So I absolutely. have one honourable mention. Yeah. That's not that didn't make the top five, but it's like it's it's up there. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Spieth, cliffside par. Oh my gosh. At Pebble Beach, I remember watching this shot oh live. My gosh. I, I thought it was gonna die. I remember watching this shot live and thinking, oh my god, my, oh my, my god, my hands were sweating. He was literally on the on the edge of the cliff. And he and somehow he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna hit the shot. Turns up, smashes it, and I, I'm pretty sure. Although I'll tell you what, you know when we were playing in Cyprus, yeah, and then you know when we went to the top of the hill to hit a couple of balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it makes the hairs of, of, of on the back of my neck stand up. He was a foot off the off the of the edge of the cliff. Seriously, you could have died. Hold on, let me go back. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Are you crazy? And and for his caddy to be like, yeah, I feel no, no, comfortable no. with a, with an easy six iron or whatever it was. No, no. Uh, the caddy said, I'm, I don't feel comfortable with you hitting that Look shot. Look at that. The caddy said he doesn't feel comfortable. His stance on the way he's standing on the edge of the cliff is bigger than the gap from his left foot to the edge of the cliff. Yeah. And he hits it and he goes, I'm pretty sure he goes on the back of the green. Uh, back of the green, yeah. How do you do that? And he's, he salvages par as well, doesn't he? Danger, steep cliff. No s***. <laughs> so, yeah, those were my top six, I should say. I mean, this this just makes me think that, come on, give the guy a free relief. <laughs> like, mm. I don't know. Mm. Um, nah. 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 Let them play. All but right. then again, obviously, he's fine. Yeah. He smashed but, it. Seriously, when I was watching it, I was like... Mate, I've got my, my hands are sweaty now. My hands are sweaty <laughs> right now. I'm like... <laughs> It's crazy. Right, uh, I'm I'm done. Uh, that's that's me done. 
It's a brilliant, good list. That's a good list. It's not bad, is it? That is a pretty good list. Do you agree with it? I, I agree. Is there any shot that you, you, that, you, that on the top of your head that you're like, oh, this should have been in there? Or, 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 or I think it was a good shot. Yeah, Scotty Scheffler's four putts to no. win the Masters. Nope. No. Nope. Come on. Sorry. No. Nope. That's. I think that's probably the worst best shot. I'm not a big Scotty Scheffler fan. Fair enough. Okay. So even if you got like the best hole in one in the world, it probably won't be in the list. Okay. I do, I, do you know why? Because I don't follow him on social media, so I don't know him personally. Not yeah, per- yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, uh, I follow Rory, I follow all these players for so many years, mm-hmm. and you feel like you know these people. And, yeah, like, yeah. it's funny. But we went to, last thing before we finished the podcast, we went to the 150th. Yeah. And I was waiting there by this um, autograph section. Rory McIlroy walks right past me. Uh. And it's like, he had this, like, godlike aura about yeah, him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember staring at him. I'm 31 years old. And I was, I was like a little kid. I was like, whoa, that's yeah. Rory just walked right past me. Rory McIlroy. And then we were talking about this, in the, I think, in the podcast a couple of weeks later. Yeah. He, f- to me, he felt like he was 6'9", six, 6'9", yeah. six inches. Yeah. It turns out he's smaller than me. And I was like, I swear. For me, it felt like I was, like, my head was like this. And I was like, oh, my God, that's Rory. Yeah. I felt like a little kid. And he's yeah. like 5'10". Yeah. I remember telling you, he was like, no, I'm sure he's like 6'5 at least. Yeah. That's just what these people like kind of mean to us, obviously, which is sad or good or cool or whatever. But yeah, that's my uh, list. Um, just a quick one. Yes. Honorable mention, Cam Smith again. Mm-hmm. His um, four, fourth day, 71st uh, hole on the 17th of TBC Sawgrass. He hits an absolute, absolute... Um, hero shot mm-hmm. onto the green and makes makes birdie. I don't remember. Do you remember? No. I don't remember that shot. If I see it, I, I definitely... He shoots it to a foot. Epic shot. Show me. Shall I fill in some gap? We're here. We're here. Uh, sorry, not the PGA, the players players which he won in the end if i see the shot i'll definitely recognize the shot oh yeah you will the, the like the three yeah. up the fight oh here we go oh i remember this that's straight away what yeah. what a course this is like and he was leading right he didn't oh. need to make birdie yeah, yeah 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 yeah. that is such a difficult oh my god man he's still going so good still going so good such a such, such a good shot so good um the on, f- on revenge i, I agree yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. it's not gonna be top five but um the um, the three out of the s- or the four out of the six because I, I remember you. It's been a long season. Yeah, it's b- the the four out of the six um, shots from this just came on like the top of my head, yeah. and then I did some research. I was like googling on like best shots, best shots, and then I was like reading. I was like, oh yeah, that w- I remember that one. I remember that one. Uh, you know, and that's how I came up with the list. But that is it for the podcast today. That's what do you reckon? It. Not bad, eh? Absolutely. Out of ten, what would you what would you rate this podcast? Very. Um, <laughs> 10 out of 10? Always. No, you can't, you can't rate Come it 10 on. out of 10. Come on. No, no, that, that, that's a rookie, that, that's a rookie uh, rating. You can't rate it 10 out of 10. Nah. It's a, it was a 7.3 out of 10. Yeah. No, nah, it, was, it was high. It was 8.3, 8.4 well, we'll, we'll out of 10. You, we'll let you guys decide. Yeah, what would you rate this podcast out of 10? Let us know. Let right, us know. thank you guys for listening. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, sh- I don't know, share, comment. Let us know about any silly purchases that you've made. Yeah, follow, we, us we, on, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Right, so Rice and Slice Podcast. Follow us on, on TikTok if you're not already following. Just just get involved. We just want people, right? Right, thank you guys for listening. My thank name you. is Sia and this is Chenji. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Oh, I forgot. I'm such a... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This is our producer, by the way. (laughs) Listen, I'm doing my best.